Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi and uh, have a good day. So, um, this is going to be the uh, recorded version for the uh, topics for the Stapo Moto. Alright, so um, we are going to learn a uh, total three types of moto in the class for microcontroller, which is uh, which are the uh, um, DC moto, uh, stepper moto, and the servo moto. So um, for the past week, right? So we already learned about the uh, DC moto. So today we are going to learn a new moto, and you guys need to understand how we can drive the moto correctly using the uh, PIC. So uh, let's uh, proceed, and uh, we need to find out what is uh, the stepper moto. So, uh, the stepper motor is uh, a motor that can divide the full rotations into large number of steps. So, uh, this is one type of uh, stepper motor, and uh, this is most um, in the industrial type, basically here, like this one or so. So, um, what does it mean that um, this motor uh, will be going to rotate and uh, it's going to divide? based on the steps i mean uh, if you look at the uh, rotations of the motor right, for the dc for dc motor so you have the motor here and uh, the it can turn uh, when you give the uh, signals uh, for five uh like it's a power source right so you can turn and turn uh, based on the direction that you want to change uh, then you have the stepper motor where it can divide the full rotations into large number of steps. So what does it mean is, um, so you have a motor here, right? This is a motor. Uh, this is a forward, right? I mean the forward uh, locations. Uh, we have this motor, and um, if you put a straw here, right? So the rotation will be based uh, by steps. So it will rotate like some movement, right? So that's why you have the 360 degree for the whole turn and how many steps then it will give you the angle. For example that here that uh, this servo motor can rotate up to 200 steps means that every steps will have uh, this value uh, that the angle over here right so that will be the stepper motor. So um, most of the stepper motor normally use uh, in, in terms of industry uh, they, how, how they want to move a very precise movement and uh, one part that you can see uh, example is on the printer the printer also use the uh, stepper motor to move the, uh, uh, the, the, the one that the ink to move accurately on the uh, printing uh, stuff so that is uh, using the step motor all right so if you google up the step motor here so this is types of servo motor that we can find the small one versus the industry this is uh, not industry but this is actually uh, higher uh, power which can do the stepping uh, and then uh, to pull the the, the 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 force I mean to move and you can see this is a, a cheaper one that is a very small one here so this is the package of the uh, uh, servo motor right so this is going to be a stepper motor all right and let's move on and how it works you need to drive it based on the movement so normally right normally for the stepper motor this is the one stepper motor it will have a uh, five wires so uh, let's look again this one right here it has four plus one one is ground and another four will be the wires to be driven and you look at back here so this is the process of driving the stepper motor so every time you want to drive you must make sure that for example this one the first one okay one this is one zero 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 and then next one the second one here is one the rest will be zero the third one 
here third is going to be zero zero one zero and will be last one is zero 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 one so this is the sequence to drive a stepper motor all right so this will be the standard to drive by using the pic so you must connect four pins from the sorry from the stepper motor it's a stepper motor right so from the stepper motor to the pic by uh, these four pins and you can drive by giving a five volt signal or zero volt signal on these four pins and then it can move so it must be in this sequence all right so for the um, uh, stepper motor right you have the unipolar stepper motor and the bipolar this is what i'm going to not going to discuss in the class so the important thing when you purchase when you purchase a stepper motor you need to understand and you need to find out what is the step angle it can uh it can it, it can incorrect it can move based on uh, uh the spec here for example if i going okay here look at this one so um here the rest are uh, the specs and the most important thing that you want to see is this one the step angle so every step it will move around 1.8 degree this is very accurate all right so for example here for 1.8 right so it's clear that here in this case right how many steps so you can divide the 360 degree by 1.8 degree is equivalent to 200 steps so so this motor can turn full rotation at 200 steps so each of the step will move at 1.8 degree so this is how it works so you can know that uh, from this example right so if the step angle is given then you know how many steps is needed to complete a full rotation okay so this is a volution is is the rotation full rotation all right this is the example and then there are four types of uh, uh, stepping sequence so the first one they call it with drive this is the way how you want to drive your stepper motor the second one they call it full step drive and the third one they call half stepping and the last one they call it micro stepping so over here only three will be covered in the lecture so this one is using the silence sinusoidal uh, signal i'm not going to use this one so we're going to concentrate about this one with drive full step drive and half stepping all right so we are going to look at the simulation directly in Proteus. Okay, in this my in this example, let's start right. So I'm going to delete everything first. So this is your PIC, of course. Then you need to find the stepper motor. So you can go for stepper motor, and here there are two choices. So look at which one. This is only four pins, and you are required to use the, the other one, which is the unipolar type. It has six pins, right? Just okay, and then we can click over here. Okay, in this a stepper motor pin assignment, two will be in the ground. So the ground will be here. This one. So I'm going to remove this one. All right. And again, I just want to show you guys first, right? This one is just uh, just example first before we're going to have the full uh, solutions. So um, I want to use four pins, right? So, the thing here will be coming from this pin assignment. And, uh, okay, look at this one. 
So the pin assignment will be here, the first one. The second one will be here. The third one will be here. And the fourth one will be here. So it, it's kind of uh, rotations. It, this is anti-clockwise. Okay, you can drive anti-clockwise and also you can drive clockwise, counterclockwise. Okay, so we are going to connect all these four pins from the four pins to the PIC. At the moment, I'm not using the driver yet, so we just want to see the result first. Alright, so let's move this one first. So I'm going to use four pins here. The first one. Then the second one. The third one. And the last one. So here will be the basic connections of the stepper. So you have four pins connected on the stepper motor. Two pins will be connected to the ground. So you need to drive, like for example just now, right? For example just now, you need to drive uh, like this. So it means that you have to give uh, the signal 1000, which is a pin 1, pin 2, pin 3 and pin 4 and then you're going to use 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 and the last one is 0 0 0 1 so this is the sequence all right let's go to your proteus all right i'm closing this one i'm going to open up a new project build sorry project new project you have to use uh the the software that you are using right so this is 20 megahertz i'm using the very old version Next, know this one. Project file, sorry, file name project where I want to save it. I will going to save it uh at my desktop. Create a new folder. Ten. Right, so this is stepper motor. Okay, save. Next, no need to add anything, and then it could all it could all the, the library, and then finish. Then you have this uh, again, the main body of the program. So right now you have to look back at the uh, protest design. So I'm using part B. Port four, a uh, port B pin four to seven, four five six seven. So I'm going to use this part to drive a signal out, one zero. So you can set your port B as the output first. So port B is equivalent to zero B zero 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 zero. zero. Okay, this is D. Uh, sorry, twice B. Sorry. Press B. Okay, this is the setting for pot B as your output. Right? So after that, this is normally you can use uh, after that, you can simply pull down all the voltage going up from pot B to zero volt. So you just want to set the initial value for all pins at pot B to zero volt. You just want to clear everything just to make sure that everything is zero volt. So it's part B is equal to zero B zero 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 zero. Okay so this is the first process you are setting up your part B as the output and then you generate zero volt where you pull down all the voltage to zero from part B. So in this process there's nothing going up from this one. Alright, so I can compile this one just to make sure there's no problem. Alright, there's no problem. So I can try. Go to this one. Go to the uh, directory just now. Tem. So I have the stepper motor, right? So 20 megahertz, then OK. And then I can run it. So at the moment, all pins are zero. Right, based on the code here, all pins are zero. Okay, right now I want to drive. So I want to drive 
part B is equivalent to 0 B. Okay, so the first pin, the first pin is at this one. This is the first pin is pin, part B pin 4. Okay, part B pin 4 is over here. So, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Then, I'm going to close this one. And then, I can drive by sequence. Part B, you can compare, copy this one, copy this one, copy this one. And then, you can move this one to the next one here. And then, move this one also to this one. And the last one here. To this one. Alright, so this will be the sequence of driving the stepper motor. So let's do this build project and then run again on your Proteus. So stop this one, then run this one. So you can see now my stepper is uh, moving, but it stops after it finish executing this one. Alright, it's finished. It's doing one time only from the top to bottom. The process is starting from here and ends at here. Okay, so what we can do now, we want to slow down the motion. So in between the driving of each pin, right, you can create a delay. Delay MS. I want to put 1000 as for one second. Then I can copy this one. So you have this one, you have this one, you have this one, you have this one with delay. So you are going to slow down the motion of the stepper. Alright, so we are going to run this one again, build this one. Okay. Build this one. Build this one. Okay, right. So you can run the software. Now you can see every one second the stepper will move, but only one time. Okay, now it, this is what you call a uh, wave drive single stepping, where you can follow based on this wave drive by turning on single electromagnet every time and the step angle in this case is 90 degree is proven here for this case you can see 45 to 45 degree is negative is 90 degree this is uh, the method of that one so you need to find out the degree the difference on it every time it moves Okay, so this is the process. We have 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. So this is what they call it wave drive based on this one. Okay, the next one they call it full step drive. And the drive process is like this it's, uh, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, and 1, 0, 0, 1. So you can see here the step angle still at 90 degree, but the the calls uh, which been triggered, been activated, are uh, two calls at the same time. All right. So this is the method for full step drive where it requires two calls to be energized and this will move the stepper motor. The, the, the step one will rotate and still the step angle for this case is 90 degree so we can try to do this one in the uh, simulation so this is going to be uh, 1 1 right I mean you can see from the table here this is 1 1 0 0 all right this is going to be 1 1 0 0 and then it moved right since so this is 1100 then it moved this one to here 11 and then it moved to here 
and then the last one you move to this one so you have this process then you build again then you look at the uh, simulator process simulation results you can see now it's 90 degree 0 90 degree 100 degree and it's finished because it's only one time okay so this is the process on how you can drive you can drive a stepper motor so in micro c right because this process is running one time only okay so we are going to do an infinite loop so you can call and uh, sorry you can create a loop which is going to run every time and it will not finish and it will not stop until you press the reset button so what you can do you can add a while one loop okay while one loop here you must open with curly bracket and you must close the program that you want to do the uh, continuous process and the closing curly bracket here so once this program is running so this is going here setting up to this one and once it going inside this one one loop is going to rotate all this process over and over again okay so you can compile this one right let's look at the result here now you can see the results it keep on continuous driving and you can see red color is triggering 5 volt which is 1 and 0 is the blue color okay for the case of half stepping right you can follow the table here this is the method of half stepping where from the full angle that the, the stepper motor has right it can now make it half from that by doing the half stepping process so uh, you have to do this code up to eight lines right based on this one I need to make it smaller this one all right it will be based on this one and then you can see how I drive it based on the table here and then we can try to do the uh, compilation here and then run at your Proteus so here you can see now the difference on every step is at 45 degree right so this is a 45 degree so this is what they call it half stepping process okay so this is the half stepping process you can see how this is being driven okay maybe i got wrong over here i, I just want to check here Oh yeah, this is wrong. Uh, this is not here. Should be here. Sorry, this is, should be here. One. Alright, let's compile it again. So at forty-five degree step angle. Yeah, correct. Now we are correct. Okay, so. These are the method that we can use to drive a stepper motor. But in reality, you cannot have these particular connections because the PIC cannot drive by itself and it requires a driver, which the same driver that we learned from DC Moto L29 3D. So you can move this one here. And search for L two nine three D. Close this one. All right. L two nine three D. So this is the the one that you learned for the previous DC motor driver. So, you are only needed to connect four pins here, one, two, 
3, 4 here from this pin again, the same one. Here. And the enable pin must be connected to the power supply. So you have the power should be here. This is connect to here. And the okay, let me take out this one. Make it longer. Okay, remove this one. Okay, here. Okay. Then you have the ground. Here, then you have the battery will be put over here. If, for example, you have a higher power stepper motor, then you're required to have extra power supply. Okay, take this one over here. And again, you're going to do the same process here. This is one, this is two. This is 3 and this is 4. Alright, so this is going to be battery. Battery. DC voltage. Alright, here. Connect to this one and then this is going to ground. Alright, so let's run this process. 45, 0, 45, 90, 135, 180, 225, 270, 315, and 360, go back to 0. So this is a 45%, 45 degree step angle. And now you already connect the uh, H bridge, which is the uh, driver in between the stepper motor and the PIC. So right now here, you already complete three process of uh, driving the stepper motor. Two of them is the full drive, and uh, which is using the double stepping, but it, uh, the output will have a step angle at 90 degree. And the second one, you are going to reduce, divide by two from 90 degree to 45 degree. So it will base on the spec motor that you're going to purchase. It means that if the step motor, uh, the stepper motor is uh, the step angle will be a 1.8 degrees so it means that if you run the half stepping process this one can be divided by two is going to be 0 0.9 degree all right so that will be the half stepping process and then um, if you are going to write down the code this is the code is more uh, advanced where you have to learn back remember that the functions created in c++ all these things so this is uh, how, how this code is work over here all right so this uh, uh you just need to look at this one and understand what i'm doing but basically we are doing the same thing but in terms of different structure because we are going to use the functions all right so you can try yourself on the uh by the protease and the simulation of the micro and the protease so make sure that you guys get the same thing and i think that's uh, important for you to understand about the step auto so thank you very much then.